God damn it! Died of starvation too! No! Ah, they're not the wrong team! Hello everyone and welcome back to Planet Zoo. Is it episode five? Oh, hello? Oh no. Oh wait, we're playing. Whoa, 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 we're playing. No, don't do like five million times speed. Okay, I'm gonna pause this. Oh God, we got snow. Oh geez, okay, hello. <laughs> oh no, <laughs> Jesus. Long story short, I was wanting to record today. Um, but as it turns out, um, they're going through a lot of maintenance. So luckily I managed to, yep, there it is again, get onto the game um, while this maintenance is sort of going on. They're sort of changing um, franchise mode. I do hope, however, that this does not affect anything and all the, all the, you know, the improvements I'm making to my zoo doesn't all of a sudden get erased. Because if I do click escape, it says you're online, then I go save. Saving your zoo. Oh no, there you go! We're fine! We're okay! People right now, if you open up the game and try to go in franchise mode, you'll connect to the server and then automatically disconnect. Um, but because I've been playing this for a few hours now, um, it seems to be okay. Uh, I just, I just want to say as well, like, <laughs> oh Jesus! In the last episode, I put trial and error, but because I'm slightly dyslexic, I put trail and error, <laughs> which of course you guys picked up on very quickly. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I just want to say, like, the support that this series is getting, and I know I'm at this point now starting to sound like a broken record, but it's it, it's it's amazing. Um, and I just want to say thank you so much. I, if I'm gonna be honest, and I'll be brutally honest, um, I didn't expect this series to um, be so long lasting on the channel, just because. Oh, do I have a he I have a heater on. Oh, fantastic, because we got snow. And we've got disconnection issues. <laughs> so, can you? I was gonna say you can't put a heater underwater. Got some coldness there. Um, yeah, I, I thought we'd do one, two, maybe three episodes. I wasn't expecting it to be, you know, popular. But because of you guys and you're enjoying it so much, it kind of is. So that's awesome. And I just want to say thank you so much. Also, we've got heating here. I don't know if that's actually due to the heaters or if that's due to the uh, cave systems I've put in. So yeah, we'll turn this off and I just want to show you before everything goes white, um, the plans that I've got for this area. Um, so somebody suggested that I change this to a moat or like a long lake. So it's going to curve around here and that way, I don't know, it'll look a lot nicer. Not only that, but I've sort of changed this area because we're going to need some dedicated zoo buildings, like some staff areas, quarantine zones, even though we do have them over there. That's kind of, you know, for these guys as well, um, because we're going to have a lot of zookeepers in here because we've got zebras, uh, common ostriches, and uh, is that, are they buffaloes? I think that, yeah, they're water buffaloes. So we're going to have a lot of animals in here which of course have gonna have a lot of needs, just like there's a lot of poo poo here. But I thought this would be a cool area. I've, I've decided instead of having the walkway come from there to just have it here. Um, and I finally mastered the path system. Yay! Finally mastered the path system. I now know how it works and it's not as infuriating as before. So we're gonna click play because I actually have had snow once before. Um, yeah, you can see it's starting to build up where um, yeah, yeah, see? Now, I don't think the heaters are affecting it. I don't think so. They shouldn't be on. Oh, do they not need power? Oh, that's so good. Okay, so the animals are... <laughs> we... It's last Christmas again. No, what is it? White Christmas? I can't remember that song. But anyway, oh, look, there's some heat there. Uh, I wanted to make that a waterfall as well. So let's just have a look around the rest of the park. Also want to uh, cover this area up because... Oh, it's a little bit cold for even my guests. Actually, do the guests abide by a heating system? No, they're all cold-hearted buggers. Uh, also, one thing I wanted to do, and I'm thinking, oh, now here we go, here we go, here we go. Uh, I need to pause this because this is a problem. A lot of the zebras and stuff I put in here and I forgot to put food troughs. Um, and I do have the food troughs now. So we're gonna have to go into staff, go into work zone, uh, work zone 4, edit work zone. Yeah, you see, it's not part of it. I knew it. Um, so, and also we've got two new enclosures. So we're going to have a look at those. But first we need to definitely keep an eye on all of this. And in fact, just to be sure...
Okay, this is the beauty. Oh god, <laughs> that not so much. This is the beauty of Planet Zoo. Like, I've just placed down this customized building. Well, you know, preset kind of. And then I didn't like the fence. So all I did was just double click on it and fence is gone. So now we have a vet surgery, we have a staff building and we have a quarantine zone. And that all leads straight into this exhibit. So we should be good. Really what I'm wanting to happen in this episode is that we get a baby pygmy hippo. That's my goal. If we can do, oh, look at this. Look, oh, hello, how are you doing? Are you enjoying the snow? But it's a little bit different from what you're used to, isn't it? <laughs> so I do apologize if we, you know, we get some notifications of, um, uh, you know, ooh, franchise mode is under construction, that message you've seen every now and again. Uh, it'll only be for this episode, because I'm sure they'll fix it shortly. And in fact, maybe they fixed it now, because I haven't seen it for a while. Whoa! <laughs> oh, he looks so cute. Is he loving the snow? I bet he's not. I bet he's hating it. Hungry. Hungry. Um, we should request... Uh, call keeper to habitat. That's one. Uh, this is a food trough. Uh, oh, wait, whoa, no. Oh, no, you're coming. Good, good, good. Please don't tell me that's dead. Please tell me that's sleeping. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Keep it on route for the plain zebra and the African, uh, bison. or oh, buffalo, sorry. We should have a ostrich. Select habitat. This one. Yes. Where's the ostrich? What are you going to feed this with? Volume of what? Of what? We need food for the ostrich. Please don't tell me anything dies. Oh, they've got water. That's good, though, because you can survive as long as it's not frozen. Oh, the snow stopped? Yes. That means we should be all right, I think. I'm hoping. Uh, Aardvark is mature. Oh, his little baby Aardvark's mature. Or are you maturing? You're about to mature. <gasps> We're gonna, oh, they're just so cute. You know what? You can have your favorites. In fact, um, there's a, oh God, is he changing? Oh, it's a heater. The heater, the little waves are happening. Um, yeah, there's some, it's a pig poo, pit poo, some sort of bird. And it's like got huge eyes. Oh, that thing's cute. But come on, look at it. Look at it. Anyway, what I was thinking of doing for these, oh, what? Dangerous animal has escaped. Say what? What animal? Oh, <laughs> he hasn't escaped. He's just went beyond the boundary. <laughs> okay, hold on, hold on. Oh dear. Okay, we're gonna have to double, double. We're coming to double click. Double click that. Add. Oh no, I can click the middle. There we go. I'll click that. Add that there. Now move that all the way over there. Click on you. Add another one. It should have added another one. No. In fact, can we just move you? Yeah, move you. Habitat cleanliness is disease risk. Are you really dirty? Oh God, I can't click the exhibit. Uh, 61% will we'll call the, is it a keeper? Does a keeper do it? I'm a, ooh, guess the view is okay. So yeah, I didn't even show you guys. This is the new and improved Pygmy Hippo exhibit. And somebody tw uh, tweeted me like, Two days of no Planet Zoo video. Where's my pygmy hippo, damn it? <laughs> so I'm really hoping, I'm really hoping. In fact, actually, if we find the female, uh, let's have a look. Where is she? Where's the female? Is she having a dip? She's having a dip. Now, if you click on them, it should say if they're expecting, but she's not. Usually if they're pregnant, it says down here with the uh, adult years, if they're expecting. Habitat, cleanliness, a little bit. Whoa! Spot fine! Spotted protester? Oh, am I having a thingy? <gasps> oh dear. I think I'm having one of those... Uh, oh god, are you starving? Oh, why are you starving? Uh, you're not call keeper to habitat? You know, you know why that is? It's because I don't... Uh, whoop. I don't have any um thingies. What do you call them? Is that a dead zebra? That's a dead zebra. <laughs> God damn it! Oh no! Well, the zebra's okay. Oh no. Oh no. Well, if they can eat that, right? What's he doing? What's he doing? Why have you not filled the food troughs? Oh, is he just doing everything at once? Is oh, animals starving? Yeah, I know, I know. Look, you're eating stuff there, right? Fantastic! Okay, nobody else die. We got this. We got this under control. Also, I need to pause it just when they're all out, because if we can. And people said to add rough water, so 
There you go. Now we look much better. Oh, God. Um, is everything okay? Oh, yeah. Let's play juggle the animals. Unbox all animals. There we go. Whoa. <laughs> Proper went for that ball. Took out their frustrations. Actually, zebras, I think, can be quite aggressive, unlike horses. Oh, horses can be. But, uh, yeah, they're more so aggressive because they're more like prey. So they don't want to die, in other words. And they're also, I think, black with... Are they white with black stripes? I can't remember. Ooh, African bison. Are they fighting? Oh, God. What, yeah, how are these guys doing? Uh, social's fine. How about you? Oh, uh, we're okay. Those guys are fine. Inspector arriving in 23 months. I don't even want to know. What did I get? Did I do good? Ooh, we've learned more about flamingos. We don't really need to learn about flamingos, though. We need to learn more about pygmy hippos and everything else. So, yeah, when it came to this exhibit, I wanted to also add um, a little bit of pizzazz extra. And I think this is this is okay. I think you can do it this way. Because I've added a door, so they should technically be able to get through it. I have yet... You know what? Have I requested a keeper to come in? Because I guess that's the best way to find out, isn't it? So if we go in here, call Keeper to Habitat. Right, let's have a look. Oh, no! No, he died! Oh, no, and he never... Oh, oh that's such a shame. No, you didn't have any offspring. And is another zebra dead? Oh, God damn it! Always make sure you've got everything first, James, before you end up placing the animals. Uh, fighting alpha there, fine. Low welfare? How are you guys though? Oh, you need more enrichment. And apparently nutrients? Nourishment is very low. Can you not eat from here? Or are you just stinky? You got a stinky enclosure? You seem to be okay. You know, I've got a feeling that these guys could only eat it if it's on the floor. If I was just to grab it and go blip, like that, I think then they'll be able to eat it. I'm not so sure, but I'll double check. So yeah, they're all starving. They're all starving. We've been in this situation before. We're not having it happen again. Oh God, move it. Move it off the log. It looks very nice to have it. In fact, you know what? We may as well just keep them. But uh, yeah, can't have those. But what about um, just maybe we have some enrichment for them. Waterfall and metal frame enrichment. Ooh, cool. Is that what they were lacking? Nope, nope. They need uh, species food. Okay, well, we have that now. That's a thing. We'll turn that around because it's kind of facing the wrong way. And we'll also move it more into the ground. There you go. That looks much better. But they do still need some sort of food enrichment. Oh, here we go. A forage pool. I mean, that doesn't look too great. Oh my god, it looks horrible. <laughs> oh, I don't like it. No, we have something good for them, but it's not that nice. Oh, and these guys are starving now? Wait, is the, is the food old or something? Grade one, food bowl, call keeper to habitat. Where are all these keepers? We've got animals starving to death. And yeah, here they come. Here they come, the busybodies with now what else to do. Please don't be any more dead ones. Right, let's... Hopefully they took away the pygmy hippo, though. Did you take away the pygmy hippo? You did, so you can get in here. Uh, but you didn't... Oh, is it filled up? No. What are all my zookeepers doing? Oh, but uh, I guess... Yeah, that's good, I suppose. Oh, we've got some mechanic stuff as well. Uh, oh, that, we've got solar energy. Fantastic. Get the new world theme and also work on staff facilities. So we could... Oh, maybe we can get a bigger one. Also, what is going on? Everything's thirsty. And there's like, okay, okay. Something's, something's gone on here. Hold on, hold on. Oh, okay. Okay, I've just put everything back on uh, <laughs> work zone four. And we should be all good, I think. We've got, oh, we got another baby Komodo dragon. Oh, that's great. Okay, what I want to do is because we've got the water area here, which looks awesome. I'm thinking I'm gonna move these guys over to the other exhibit. I'm gonna move them over to here. Just so I, I'm thinking we can have this one as like a crocodile exhibit. That would be awesome. Uh, I know that they're social. Oh no, their social's fine. It, I mean, it's a little bit down, but they're not too bad. 
And we'll move them in here. I don't know how many. Uh, there's only one left in there. An animal died! God damn it! <laughs> died of Oh, there's two! No! Ah, they're, they're, they're all dead! <laughs> they all died! The babies have died! What happened? Where is- Oh, now you come in! We- there is li how many animals- we have two. We have two. In fact, this one's- this one's gonna die. We have- we have one flamingo left. <laughs> oh, this has been a catastrophe! Where have you all been? What have you been doing? Oh my god! Okay, uh, g g give me two seconds, guys. Let me just buy back all of the animals that died. Oh, also, you guys really told me to check out the Zoopedia. Um, which has loads of like information on animals like look what what we need to feed them also Interspecies and rich pygmy hippo doesn't benefit from sharing space with other species of what at all really can we go to the zoopedia? Yes, this one and we can look on this Great flamingo doesn't benefit from sharing space with any other animals So one thing that you guys told me was these these really get on so if we click on one We go on the zoopedia go on here. Yeah, oh, pronghorn. I oh wait what I put the wrong one in that's not a pronghorn, is it? What are you? You're a stable antelope. <laughs> they get on anyway, I suppose. <laughs> pronghorn antelope. <laughs> oh dear. Well, what about these guys? Are they okay with getting on with stuff? Oh, they're fine. They're African though. They probably shouldn't be in here. So, you know what? They've had a lovely time in here, but this is a much bigger space. So we'll shift these guys over here. <gasps> 25 only? Gimme. Give me! Yes! Oh, I got it! That was lucky! 25 for a male, and he's a bronze one. Oh, no, no, no. Not in there, not in there. Put him in here. And we'll look at what else we got. We I did snag... Did I move the female in? Oh, no, no, sorry. He's already been moved in. Okay, I'll put you in. And the great flamingos, yes! Yes, they should be doing okay now. Oh, my God. I was like, starting this episode, it's going to be so fun, guys. I've spent ages making the walkway over there and just working out how that exhibit's going to look. Dead. Dead, dead, dead. Everything died. Are you telling me I've had a pygmy hippo that's now... Oh, it's a... We have a baby. Oh, <gasps> it's the baby. Oh, my God, it was moved into containment for some reason. It was put into here instead of put back... Did she have to- Oh, did she have to go to surgery or something? Oh, we did get one! He did have offspring! Oh, But... Oh, look at her! Is she gonna be so happy now she's gonna see her baby? Is she okay, though? Social group, 0%. But she's not too fussed. She's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Low welfare for the Komodo dragon, probably because the social, yeah. Needs a little bit more space. How many are in here? Oh, I thought there was a buffalo in there. <laughs> okay, okay, you you're not happy. Are you? You're the male. Uh, females kind of okay, and then there's the babies. As far as the <laughs> they're adults. <laughs> Have we got two males or a male and a female? Oh, we got a male and a female. We could return one of these to the wild. I guess we'll send the male away. Bye bye. No. There you go. Forty. That'll help towards something. I'm sure. Oh, are you hungry? Oh, come on, animals. What's going on in here? Oh, hungry and injured. Oh, he's being quarantined. I was gonna say, woo, is that from a fight? Also, hey, buddy. Oh, God, you look battered and bruised. Are you okay? Everything's green. Habitat. What's wrong? Cleanliness. You've got a dirty habitat, do you? Uh, low welfare for these guys? Probably due to social. Yeah, social is on 4%. I'm not surprised. Wow, there's too many. Okay, so before these guys start smashing the glass. Ooh, wow, 194 for that guy. And a jewelry. I get 218. You know what? I'm gonna release them. He's, oh, he's had his whole life in captivity. Bye! <laughs> Doesn't stand a chance, does he? So we've got a female, uh, a female, and a jewelry. I like Latifa. She's really good. She's got a great animal rating. But she's she's had like three offspring. I, but no, I can't release her, so it's gonna have to be you. 
Okay, we went from 90 conservation points to 300 nod. Oh God, diseased, diseased, call the vet. Yeah, there we go. Last drink, oh, I forgot about the water. Is the water, oh yeah, ah. Uh, yeah, forgot about that. So if we wanna, we wanna clean out the water. Ooh, wind turbines. Ah, there's a thing. Over here for the time being, and it's also not powered. <laughs> Actually, this is a great opportunity to try out my wind turbine. Now the problem is, this isn't connected, so I don't think those guys can even get to it. Oh dear, I've made a terrible mistake. Um, are you ready guys? Are you ready? Oh god, I can't even. <laughs> I go all the way around and I can't get in. Oops. Oh, oh no, but there's the baby. Okay, we're gonna have to take your mummy away. I'm so sorry. I'm gonna have to call it oh, undiagnosed critical infection. Oh god. <gasps> but the little baba. Oh, oh, it's adorable. Look at it. <laughs> oh, it's so cute. Chiku. Aww. Dangerous animal has escaped. What? What? Okay, so it's when they, they go into here, it classes them as broken out. Uh, da oh, what? Dangerous animal has escaped. Oh, look at it. It's absolutely terrifying. <laughs> oh, no, I want to try and get... Whoa, look at him. He's a Jesus uh, ostrich. Yeah, I didn't realize they had babies. Oh, that's adorable. Okay, yeah, I've got to think about this. Okay, there we go. So now, when we click on the enclosure, there's like a little hidden fence that goes around the back and goes into these cavern areas. So hopefully that shouldn't... That shouldn't happen anymore. I hope. Oh, no, I feel... Oh, it's so tiny. Is it okay? Habitat. Cleanliness. Again, having a little bit of an issue with cleanliness. Uh, is it... Oh, is it the water? <gasps> I didn't think. Water? Oh, no. No, no. Water's okay. Right. Also, you guys told me that there's a way that you can just have people come to the exhibit, like, all the time. And there it is. So, that's much better. Hopefully, we'll uh, have a clean exhibit for them. There you go. Have a little bit of a heater there. You just rotate that a little bit. Much better. Okay, is is he taking care of the cleanliness? I I really doubt that the mechanic is taking care of the cleanliness. You can get a very good view of the pygmy hippo from here. Oh, that's cool how they know that. <gasps> there it is! Oh, no, I want to click on the hippo, damn it! <laughs> Bless it, it's so cute. Wait, what? Wait, it's diseased? A diseased animal discovered? Oh my god, Talurumir. Oh, okay. Um, right. I'm sure I've got loads of research done, right? We need to research that to Lumia. We're not losing that baby. Get Ellen on the case. I wonder what the mother had. Is she in quarantine? Oh, oh, is the hippo back? I think the hippo's back. Oh, we got the th Oh, wow. So we must have solar power as well. So we've got solar panels, wind turbines, and terminals. Oh, is mama back? Oh, the baby's back. It's... Oh, are you okay? Of course you are. You're gorgeous. Although the habitat again is just dirty. Oh, oh God, you're making it even dirtier. Stop it, no. <laughs> yeah, you may laugh about it. It's not funny. I don't know how to fix this. Inspecting habitat. Oh, ooh. Okay, that explains everything. Right, so they're having a problem getting into this enclosure because... There we go. Okay, so I'm just gonna move everything out here. I think there's, there's something going wrong because of this curve. Oh, okay, I've extended it a little bit. So hopefully it should be okay. I'm hoping there's plenty of space for them to do what they need to do. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, for God's sake! <laughs> really? 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 So what if I just move this, huh? What if I just move that? What if I just move that completely? I oh, now you're okay! Oh, for God's sake! So it was, it was just something here. Something in this. Oh, now you come running. Something to do with this building it wasn't happy with. 
100%, you guys will know exactly what the problem was, don't you? And now we have a floating heater. You know what? Keep it. Keep the magical floating heater. Oh, American bison fighting due to incorrect sex ratio. Is there too many males and females? Oh, there might be. Hold on. How many, how many males do we have? Animals. Oh, we have four males. Okay. Okay. Um, we need to... Wadsworth? Tyson? Who's the, who's the alpha? Oh, Tyler's the alpha. It's also getting on. Is it about time we return him to the wild? I think it is. Look at that. He went to having his own... Is it harem? Whatever you call it. And uh, now he has nothing. <laughs> And we need to probably get rid of one. I, we're probably okay, but I think it's three three males now. So, Tyson, I'm so sorry. We're going to have to release you as well. Wait, how much do you sell for? 42. Oh, oh and we've also got more babies on the way as well. Jeez. Oh, we got low welfare for you. Why do you have low welfare, buddy? Oh, he's on the rocks. Sorry, Latifah's on the rocks. What are you on the rocks for? Get down! You'll do yourself an injury. Animal is distressed and trying to hide. Oh no, bless it! What, what, what's the matter, buddy? Oh no. Is it all of the little baby ostriches running about? Is that it? I can hear the ostriches. I Oh, there they are! Look at them! Like raptors! <laughs> so no wonder there's loads of them in the trade. Look at them! It's full! My god! What's your name? Four lad. And... Adanya and sad sad oh nutrition's pretty bad oh okay are you hungry last meal last drink cleanliness 10 percent oh, that shouldn't be a problem we've got water over here are you not hydrated look at them go they're adorable little papas <laughs> oh no we got diseases in the flamingo exhibit shoot it Shoot her! Oh, I just realized we don't have any donation boxes. Not that we really need to worry about money at the moment, but that's something we can think about for later. What is with all of these diseases? Do I have to, like, cure it? As in Jurassic World style? Is that it? See? This is my invisible barrier. We're just gonna put this just a little bit further back. And there you go. So you've got... This bit as well, which probably needs moving just a teensy bit backwards, like that. And then this one probably needs to be changed as well. I thought it would look cool if I just sort of went over it this way, if we needed to do some sort of fence, but, um... Yeah, I think, yep, yeah, that'll do. Finally you've come! Uh, to be fair, they've had babies again, and th <laughs> the flamingos have came back from the brink of extinction. Oh, release to my, p oh, I've got a gift. What'd I get? Release to the wild, release one Komodo dragon to the, to the wild, get a thousand. That's it? How about that? How's that? Better? Kind of. <laughs> God damn it. It's all over the place. I do apologize, guys. This episode has been an absolute mess. Just cause like things that I thought would work. Like the, um, this thing that I spent a while making, I just thought, you know, it looks pretty good. I, you know, I'm proud of it. I don't know if that's, is that the reason? Is that better? And if I place it back to where it was, how about that even? Actually, then it, then it looks much better. How about that? So we'll do that. And then we'll move you back here. We can even put some bedding in. Oh yeah, we've made our own little thing for them. Yeah. <laughs> Little one. No, bigger one. Also, I want to make some sort of covered area for this. In fact, actually. And then if we covered it, would that work? He's chewing on the air. I, I saw that. I saw you glitching out. <laughs> Caught you. Oh, yeah, there we go. I, I don't think we need a research pygmy hippo, though. I think we're, we're, we're pretty golden. Campylobractus, that one. Get that one done. Oh, God, oh man, bugger off. <laughs> Did you know we're having problems with franchise mode? No way! Don't say! They keep on escape. They keep on running in here, like going as far in as possible. <laughs> They're little buggers! I tell you, that's what they are, little buggers! Ah! 
All right, we're gonna have to end it there because I'm getting this message every minute, <laughs> if that. It's bloody ridiculous. But if you enjoyed this video, oh, we got a baby! Ah! God damn it! You see what I mean? Come back here. Oh my god. You are adorbs. Also, oh my god. You're Look at you. You're so cute. So I'm gonna, we're gonna pick up this when they're finally done with their whatever they're doing. And we don't get this message over and over. And uh, hopefully it'll be more relaxed as well. Because things won't be dying for reasons that I have no idea why they did. I leave you with a cutie pie. And until next time, thank you again for all the support you've left on this series. And I'll see you later. Bye-bye.